Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel EC Maths. Let me ask you a question. Is mathematics easy for everyone? Is there a fear in your mind when we talk about maths? Don't worry. Through this video, I am going to add your interest in maths. Subtract your fear about maths. Multiply your confidence and divide your worries about maths. In this video, we are going to discuss about algebraic identities. Normally, parents and teachers ask their children to learn maths by by hearting identities and formulae. If done so, they think the learning process will be easy. But in this process, we forget about how these identities and formulae can be applied. Therefore, children don't get a proper knowledge about it. And maths learning becomes a difficult process. My first video is about algebraic identities. Do you know what is an identity? In maths, an identity is an equality. Relating one mathematical expression A to another mathematical expression B. Such that A and B which might contain some variables. Produce the same value for all values of the variables. Consider an example. A plus B the whole square is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. This is the first identity. And here A and B are the variables. When we put some values for these variables, for example, A equal to 5 and B equal to 3. When we put these values in the identity, we get 5 plus 3 the whole square is equal to 5 square plus 2 into 5 into 3 plus 3 square. That is equal to 5 square 25 plus 2 into 5 into 3 is 30 plus 3 square 9. And here 5 plus 3 the whole square is equal to 8 square. And we know this 8 square is equal to 64. That is equal to 25 plus 30 plus 9 is equal to 64. Now you see this LHS part is equal to RHS part. Now we are going to prove the algebraic identity mathematically. And this video followed by 9 more videos which you should watch regularly and for that subscribe to my channel. Also press the bell button for getting notifications. So we know the first identity is a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And this is an equality and there are two parts, LHS part and RHS part. First we consider LHS part. We know LHS equal to that is A plus B the whole square. And this part can be written as A plus B into A plus B. Now we multiply these expressions for that we multiply first term of the first expression by first term of the second expression and first term of the first expression by the second term of the second expression that is a into a a square a into b plus a b again second term of the first expression by the first term of the second expression 
that is b into a b a plus second term of the first expression by the second term of the second expression that is b into b b square that's equal to a square plus a b plus a b these are two like terms so this can be written as 2 a b plus b square this is the RHS part. So, we proved LHS equal to RHS. Hence, the identity proved mathematically. Now, we can prove the same identity practically. For that, Take two squares of different sizes. First one having side A unit and the second one having side B unit. I know area of a square is side into side. Therefore, area of this bigger square is A square and area of this smaller square is B square. Now, we take two rectangles of the same size each having length a unit and breadth b unit now when we join all these four figures we get a bigger square having side a plus b unit this is a plus b a plus b a plus b therefore side of the bigger square is a plus b now area of this bigger square is a plus b into a plus b that is side into side that's equal to a plus b the whole square again you see Area of this bigger square is the sum of the areas of all these four shapes. That is A square plus AB plus AB plus B square. That's equal to A square plus AB plus AB. 2ab plus b square that is a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square hence proved now we see the application of this identity by doing some examples for that x plus 5 the whole square can be expanded by using this identity. In this example, we know A is X and B is 5. And the identity says A plus B the whole square is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. So, this can be expanded as a square in place of a here x is given. So we can write x square plus 2 into a that is x into b that is 5 plus b square that is 5 square. That's equal to x square plus 2 5s are 10 x plus 25. 5 square is 25. So, x plus 5 the whole square is equal to x square plus 10 x plus 25. Now, let us consider another example that is P plus 5 
upon 3 the whole square. Let us see how can be expanded this expression. Here also we know in place of A, P is given, B is 5 upon 3. So, according to the identity, we know this P plus 5 upon 3 the whole square is equal to P square plus 2 into P into 5 upon 3 plus 5 upon 3 the whole square. That's equal to P square plus 2 fives are 10 P upon 3 plus 5 upon 3 the whole square can be written as 25 upon 9. That is 5 square 25 3 square 9. So the expanded form of P plus 5 upon 3 the whole square is equal to P square plus 10P upon 3 plus 25 upon 9.